Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a, a shooting part. I'm, I'm Detective I Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Okay. Thanks, bruh. I love elevators. They're, they're probably my favorite thing ever. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. And a 50s elevator, too. Which way? Right down the hallway? Oh, yep, it's the one with the golden handle. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. <laughs> Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in. Oh, my office. God. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. It looks That's like perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Wow. Okay. Well, let's look around. I think she, like, beat them up. Uh, that would have been really cool if she did. What? Presented to Mark. Oh, Mark Bishop is the guy. The guy who we think drove them off the cliff. That all broke up. Fight game. Wow. It's quite a name. A little lamp and this. Oh. It's a picture. Who's that? Looks like a mermaid in the background. Um, oh, a silver screen. I thought he was calling one of those mermaids. My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood, they work together on occasion. Hmm. That's Hopgood's shop. Oh, cool. What's over here? Oh, what a beautiful balcony. I love this. I would totally live here if it wasn't for, you know, the people breaking in and, like, taking everything from whatever. Good God, woman. I'm trying. I don't think this is anything. I feel bad. Their whole apartment is just screwed. The piano. Piano! Did you get that reference? I love you forever. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, spoons! <gasps> Murder weapon! Maybe if it was. No. I don't, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but we'll still Nothing look. significant. Quite a large fork, even though it's more like a spatula. But a spatula. Okay, either this woman really like had a fight with these people, or something went this down. This doesn't pertain to the case. I know it doesn't. I'm just can't you can't you just pick up teacups for fun? Is it that hard? What's this? Looks like the old movie set downtown. Something to do with a uh, shrunken head. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, I get it. Uh huh. A replica of a replica. What? I heard a ding dong. No, this one. Or not. This letter? Eh. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking at here. Oh, here we go. Money! No good to me. Oh. It is like eight dollars. I don't think so. Yeah, it's just a box with some cigars and stuff in it. No, nothing there. Come on, Phelps. That's my keyboard's fault. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to Mrs. Bishop. Alright. Those are all books. Junk. 
junk. Well, it is just a book. I mean, I don't know what you expect. Alright. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. Ooh. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Aww. I believe her. Your husband was no, using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. I believe it. Either we find him go. or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Who? Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you just get a brain fart. It's just like, what? I'm gonna go with doubt. Jessica yes. remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? No. The truth is, my husband likes them young. Ugh. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Oh, that's so messed up. Like a call, I think. Let's call Betty. Operator, give me dispatch. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. What can I help you with, Detective? How can I help, Detective? Uh, close enough. I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Ruffles Silver paper. screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you, Betty. All right. Let's boogie. I think we found everything, so. Go, let's go. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. God, those doors must be really shoulders dangerous. Be almost rich and famous. And from the story, the tower of terror. Us, clearly none of them can act. It's a nice lobby. It's a very nice lobby, actually. Very cozy. Harris and Frank. To be frank with you, hmm. all right. So we're gonna go to Silver Screen Props. I have a feeling we're gonna have to go back to the apartment, so that's why it's not crossed out. You know the way. You can drive. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's let on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad that nothing between you is. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. La la la. The Brown Derby. The Derpy. The Brown Derby. Uh. Okay, so this is the top place. <gasps> wow, it's a bit risque. 
Oh God, what the hell? Oh, that's a bear. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Maybe you shouldn't tell Christ. them that immediately. Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood, how can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Oh, I feel like we're gonna have a chase here. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, look at all these props. It's cool though. A taiko or a gong. And some barrels and some. Oh, look at that. That's really neat, actually. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> Don't mess with Bukowski. Okay, this must be the stage. Oh boy. There's the shrunken heads. Oh, Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Ugh. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. That's so weird. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert coming. There's a shrunken head. Ew. I whip my hair back and forth. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> uh. Some more. More shrunken heads. Of course. Let's go back here. It's a dressing room. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Ugh. What is that? Well, that's a toilet, so... Are we trying to find another way in? Oh, here's the drugs. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Another shrunken head. Good God. Can we like put those down? Hmm. I don't know. Hey. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You're lying. He was here yesterday, uh. and something happened that pushed him over the edge. You're holding out on us, Hopgood. You know, I have very good connections with the Vice Squad. And well, there's a surprise. They won't appreciate you coming in here and strong-arming me. Okay, well, we literally got nothing out of him, so... Yeah. Open this. I feel like it has something to do with this bathroom. Even if we flush the toilet three times. I feel like it has something to do with this. Or are there is there switches somewhere? Let's look around and see. What's this? That's just hmm. Is there a door back here? Oh. Oh, this is a thing! Ah! Oh, that scared me! Don't do that anymore. Wow, this is messed up.
Oh. We had to like search through the stuff. Ha! Oh wait, yeah, there we go. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? job to find out. Hmm. This one. Oh, I thought that said jingle, jingle drums. drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Hmm. Can we, can we open it? Or is that just... McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Mm. Mm. You're delivering okay. props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. Oh, great. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Cup one out of two. Belt. Correct. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. He's a dirty cop, I bet. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get at Ugh. it. So much corruption. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap. Obstruction of justice. Won't stick. We can beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. Oh, snap. So let me put We're going to have a fight. Terms that even We're going to have a, a fight. Blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have fight bars me, in your IRL. is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. He just called him Small Fry. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <sighs> I don't think ah! that's a touch cost, Mikowski. Are we just Shit, running get away? Get us out of here. What the hell is this? Go all die. Shot from here, Cole. Oh, I really don't want anybody to get the before they do. Finn. What are we doing? Are we just getting away? Are we having a shootout? No, oh, I'm so confused right now. We will lose those fools, Phelps. What? 
Let's see him chase us now. Oh, phew. Okay. Onto the movie set, Phelps. I roll. am so confused. Oh, Christ. Right, they let's say just get out of here like for a minute. Paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Mikowski. All right. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones right, who want let's Bishop pull alive. Over. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. Oh my god, I'm this side of our car. I'm my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. You're behind the wheel. Let's go to the Do we know where we're going? Set. Movie set. Movie set. Movie set. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, our car is so screwed. <laughs> ooh, I'm shaking from the intensity. I wanted to try and run some of them over, but... Good God, that place is huge. Jungle drums. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! All right, we got chase now. LAPD. Get him, Phelps. Oh, I'll cover the exit. Phelps. Where is he? Where is he? Oh shoot. I'm trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. Ooh. Ooh. Run up the stairs quicker. Ooh. Ooh, so spooky. Dude, how does the set stay up? It looks like a derelict. Is this the X Games or what? Oh, God. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I'm so glad it does all the running for you. Hey! Not cool! Uh, come on, come on, come on, run faster, run faster, run faster! Ah! Uh, what am I doing? No! What? What? No oh, crap! No, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? What? Shoot! Crap! What am I? Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Where did he go? Oh, we went this way! Oh, oh my god. No, don't you freeze up on me! No! Oh, dude, my heart is beating at a million miles per minute right now. Oh my god. You can't run from me. The best detective in the world. Oh god. Oh my god. What the heck? This is like the Olympics. <sighs> okay. I'm I'm literally shaking right now. Hands in the air, Victor. Move another inch and you're dead. Yeah. Oh, Oh my god, I just spilled tea all over myself! Ballard, huh? An attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. Whoops! A daisy! All right, Hold up! You. Okay guys, uh, just to clue you in on what just happened, I just spilled most of my tea on my desk. But luckily, it didn't get on like my keyboard or anything. Um, and my mic is elevated, so it's all fine. But, that's how, that's how much I'm shaking right now, from how suspenseful that was. So let's get back into the game. Oh, wow. Okay. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh, great. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down! Wait, where are they? Oh. The Cappy doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Come on. Reinforcement! It's this way. Wait! I kinda just got shot in the back. 
LAPD, you're making a big Kill them for God's sake, I don't want to die! I'm trying! I like how they let you clear the... There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What? Jump for what? This? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Ah! No, it's this way. Hold on. Am I supposed to be shooting them right now? Wait, pull it. Pull it. Hey, I don't want to die. Ah! All right, we need to get their weapon. We're cooking. This way. Hold up. Okay. We're good. Come on. Come on, let's keep moving. All right. Oh. Ah! Stupid butthole. Shot him. I'm trying. The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Follow me. No, Come on. Not. Where? Dude, where is he? Oh, here we go. Shoot. All right, let's go. Now. Trying. I didn't get on this ladder here. Get him over here! I'll cover you! Come on! The cavalry's here! The cavalry? Oh, like the backup. I'm coming! I'm gonna need a new hat. Go back to the last cutscene. Oh my god. I I can't it's so hard to get out of cover. Uh -huh. Where are you gonna go back to? Where are you gonna go back to? Okay. Get him over here, I'll cover you! Come on! The cavalry's here! Alright, this is where we're gonna go. Hear me? Barrels at the base of the elephant column. They're full of gasoline. Shoot them quickly. Now we're making big. Wait, that's not a barrel. What barrels? How long do you think you can hold out? Is this really the 
best mechanic you got? Oh, up there. Those barrels. Right. Oh god. Forgot that's all wood. I mean, still, it would kill someone, but it's kind of cool. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. God, they're everywhere. Weapons on the ground, now! Is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. I thought he said G. Phelps, such like, a wow. reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Again? Go on, get your new assignment. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's good working with you, son. Cool. Wait, does Bukowski get to come with us? Oh, I don't think he does. Kind of sad. I like Bukowski. He's cool. And then we got this guy. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Oh, God, this is not going to end up well. I think he's a dirty cop. Ooh, a jazz club. Hold up. Wait. Freeze. Ha. All right. Before uh, before we get to this jazz club, I'm going to end the episode. Today, we've spilled tea. We've killed people on movie sets. And we've discovered a dirty ring of deadbeats. I don't really know what else to call it. But, um, yes, we did a lot today in L.A. Noir, so. And we got promoted, so that's cool. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. Subscribe. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And make sure you check out my other playlists with my other games that I've played on there. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.